Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the characteristics of compound motor. So first, we already discussed about the characteristics of DC series motor and DC shunt motor. Now it is for the compound motor. You know, first, what is the compound motor? Compound motor is simply is a combination of shunt and series field winding shunt winding as well as the series field winding so we already discussed lot of things about the compound motor but we will briefly once again recollect all those point so look at here this is the shunt and this is the series okay so this is the shunt and this is the series so shunt flux it will give the series flux so here shunt winding will provide if both these fluxes the shunt flux and the series flux then simply shunt and series both will be added so it is cumulative that means addition cumulative compound motor so if both are if shunt flux and the series flux both are differs then we can call differential compound motor compound motor both are added that means these are cumulative so both are differential then it is the differential compound motor okay so here you know characteristics of the motor means characteristics of the speed and torque here the speed is eb by flux eb by flux but here flux field depends on the two cases that is eb is nothing but voltage minus resistive drop by this is sometimes series flux and shunt flux will be added sometimes deferred series flux and shunt flux both will be deferred okay right so for cumulative compound what happen we should discuss here so first case we will consider the cumulative compound cumulative compound motor so cumulative compound means for example if the load is increases load means increases means what happen the armature current will be increases when the armature current is increases the series flux will be increases because armature shunt flux shunt current is always constant because general thing and series flux is proportional to the armature current or the load current then automatically the total flux will be combination of series plus shunt both will be series will be increases then automatically the total flux will be increases whenever the total flux is increases the speed will be decreases so for cumulative compound whenever the load is increases the speed will be decreases the speed will be decreases simply we can write like this so this is the thing for example it is the no load speed we will take that this is the no load speed n and when the load current ia will be increases then the speed will be slightly decreases this is for the cumulative compound for cumulative compound next second case for differential compound so here if you look at the differential compound how we can define this differential compound differential compound means here the total flux will be deferred generally it is shunt minus series shunt minus series so here whenever the load current increases the load current increases what about series flux series flux also increases whenever the series flux increases whenever the series flux increases totally this term will be decreases total this term will be decreases that means total flux will be decreases here n equal to eb by the total 
flux whenever the total flux is decrease decreases then automatically speed will be increases so here here whenever the armature current is increases the initial speed is this at the zero load when the load current increases then speed will be decreases speed will increases sorry speed will be decreases this is the for differential compound this is for the differential compound okay yeah so differential compound for example if there is no load for example if we take the no load condition we should consider the if it is if there is no load then what happen the flux will be shunt flux minus series flux whenever no load means the series flux will become the zero then automatically flux will be the shunt flux shunt flux will be the constant whenever the shunt flux is constant the speed also the constant so this dotted line we can call it as the no load no load speed no load speed okay this is the speed versus armature current characteristics of the compound generator compound generator sorry compound motor for any compound machine the most important thing is it consists of the two cases it behaves it behaves one character for the cumulative compound and another character for the differential compound and it will be acts different for the no load condition okay next next is torque versus armature characteristics so look at here this is the torque versus armature characteristics so generally you know for any dc machine torque is torque is nothing but proportional to the flux and the armature current flux and the armature current here this is this will be like this this will be combination of shunt flux as well as the series flux with the armature current okay so in case of differential compound so in case of differential compound what happen this term will be this term will be decreases this term will be decreases so after term sometimes torque will be decreases so that's why initially both are going in the linear way after some time after some time the flux will be the torque will be decreases torque will be decreases we can call it as the differential compound generator we can name it as the differential compound generator if it is cumulative that means cumulative means the flux will be added that means the shunt flux and the series flux both will be added both will be increases then what happen the torque value will be increases so here zero is there torque is there it will be increases and reaches to this value so we can call it as the cumulative compound we can name it as the cumulative compound so same as the same as speed versus armature current here torque versus armature current also the same characteristics so differential will be after a part, for particular current this will be fixed but after the increment of the armature current differential compound value has low value and cumulative compound value will be high value high value okay this is like this okay this is the torque versus speed characteristics okay yeah we will discuss one problem regarding this concept here the problem is shunt and series motors are designed with same rated current and same rated torque yet half rated current the torque is more for shunt or series are equal both for shunt and series and the none here 
here the most important thing the simple thing then generally we will look at here so this is the torque versus armature current torque versus armature current for the series for the series shunt shunt is for the shunt torque is increases it will goes like this it will goes like this some for example it is at rated current assume it is a ia rated ia rated but here he mentioned 1 by 2 rated maybe some weight here uh, but this is for the shunt generally this character for the shunt torque versus armature current if it is series machine the series machine is it increases like this so if we, for example it is a half rated machine the machine characteristics is like this this is the half rated half rated current then just observe here this is the torque for shunt and this is the torque for series torque for shunt and the torque for the series so if you observe here this torque shunt is more compared with the torque series torque series so the if you observe here just torque shunt is more compared with the series torque so that's why the answer is the a is the answer a is the answer because you have to get the information from the torque and armature versus characteristics only okay then we will get the answer we will ask any type of problems in this method any torque versus armature current or any speed versus armature current like that okay so this is about the characteristics of the compound motor and a small problem okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you